did you become so involved in the gay community, gay rights, a gay advocate? You are like Liz Taylor and Cher <laughs> and Madonna. I mean, honestly, Kath, you're up there for of the straights who support the gays. You're it. You know, we, we truly found each other. We just found each other. In high school, I was just that girl that dated the gay guy who wasn't out yet. Mm -hmm. And it was fine with me because I wasn't ready to have sex, so mm -hmm. I was more than happy to have a boyfriend that we just kissed every so often. Right. And we were in musicals together. Right. So I do not mean to stereotype your people. Right. But I'm telling you, they did my hair and they were in musicals. Yeah. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. Who was your first close gay friend? You oh remember? my gosh, okay, my friend Tom Murphy, he was my boyfriend in high school, and the funny thing is, he was like sort of an accidental gay bisexual man whore, because he actually dated three of us girls, who then went on to be friends with like a ton of gay people, and he never, you know, went too far sexually for some reason. So it is sort of start, we just kind of found each other. And then when I started doing open mic nights, I really would do any place that would let performances of any kind. So first of all, I wasn't even a stand up yet. You weren't. I was like, give me stage time. That's I it. I would sing. And you really? If, they, if it was a singing night, I would sing to so hear you, my songs. Like what kind of place? Like the Rose Tattoo and stuff like that? Yes, like gay bars. Okay. And they would have a talent night. Right. And sometimes I would do like a monologue from Bear from the Park for no reason. Yeah. And then I would sing. And here were my go-to songs. You're gonna like this. Um, I either sang The World Goes Round, mm -hmm. Liza Minnelli's song from New York, New York, or, and I, I don't know why, I would sing Wichita Lineman. <laughs>